Hey guys, this is the uh, initial setup for the Campac Extreme I Plus UHD 4K action cam or basically a GoPro clone except this one only costs like less than 50 bucks. So on the front here you have the power button. So we're going to go ahead and press the power, power button but we're going to turn it over so we can see that the uh, screen's coming on. It plays that little chime. That's really nice. All right, so now we're in uh, we're in our uh, camera mode. This would be shooting mode. So if you wanted to just go ahead and shoot before making any adjustments, if you're in a hurry, just press the OK button on the top, and that's your like uh, mode to shoot uh, video. And then, uh, but we're going to go into some menus and to navigate those menus. There's two buttons on the side: an up button and a down button, and that'll move the cursor up and down. So. Um, here it says I don't have a TF card in there. I accidentally hit the trigger button and I don't. So, but what I want to show you how to do is set up like the time and uh, the date and that sort of stuff. So you want to look at, you want to hit the mode button again. You just want to press it lightly once. Now this is the streaming mode. We're not, we, we, we want to get to the menu. So you want to press the, the power button or the mode button one more time. And then one more time. And now we're, we should be in the, uh, oh, that's playback. One more time. Now we're in setup. So a gear is almost universally uh, settings. So we'll hit the OK button. And here we get to pick our video resolution. So uh, 30 frames per second, 1080p, 1080p, 720p. So I want to put it in the maximum and that's uh, Ultra HD right there, so we're going to stay in that resolution there. Recording sound, yes, we want to record sound. Time lapse, no. Loop recording, no. Slow motion, no. All right, so in order to switch into the next one, I think we're going to have to hit the mode button. Yes, the mode button. So photo resolution, timer, auto, I don't know what any of that is. Exposure, white balance, these are all interesting, but uh, we'll get into these later. Okay, here we are. Language, English, great. Date and time. So click the top button once date and time is picked. And now you can adjust the date. So today is May. See, I'm putting the down button to go forward. So May, it is the 7th. And uh, I'll find out what time it is. I don't actually know the exact time. Check the phone. It's 7.26, so we're going to go 7.27 by the time I get all this set up. So, so we'll go forward. See, it has the 24-hour display here. So we're going to go with 7. Click OK. Cursor moves to the next one. Uh, what did I say? 20. So we'll go up to go back. The up button goes backwards. 27. And seconds if you really want to get to that point. Uh, format would be uh, once you put a card in here, you can format the card. Uh, restore to factory settings. And then this just tells you where your uh, software is in case you're doing updates and whatnot and tells you what version you have. And then hit mode one more time and you press OK to exit and now we're good. So now we know that the time and the date are correct. So that's your initial setup of uh, the time on your cam pack and these uh, cameras, I just got one of these, I've been using a DB, um, DB Power uh, uh, 5000 and that's great but it's only 1080 so these are uh, ultra HD so we're going to see how these work if they work really well I'll probably buy a bunch of them and um, have them all over the place because uh, the batteries are interchangeable anyway a lot of fun so uh, yeah so that's how you set up the time and the date on your camp pack action cam if this helped you please uh, like the video and uh, if you subscribe that helps me so if you want to help me out go ahead and subscribe uh, have a great day thanks